Hey there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. You know what I haven't talked about in a long time? Global positioning boards. I, in no, wait a minute, I just talked about one of those when we released a new one a few weeks ago. Oh, ESP32 modules. I, no, that's not right either, because I just built a project not two weeks ago that used a pair of those. Well, you know what? I like ESP32s, and this is my video, so I'm gonna talk about them some more. And why not? ESP32 modules now come in as many flavors as lifesavers. And I love projects that utilize the ESP32 technology. And I'm going to talk about them because we're releasing yet another ESP32 board. Introduce, wait, you know what? Can I get a timpani roll for this? Thank you. Introducing the new SparkFun Pro Micro ESP32 C3. I'll just give you an overview of the features of this version of the ESP32, but for a deep dive, you can check out the product page or the data sheet. This version of the ESP32, the ESP32 C3FH4, is a single core 32-bit RISC-V processor running at up to 160 megahertz. It's got 384K of ROM, 400K of RAM with 16K for cache, 8K of SRAM in RTC, and four megabytes of flash in the chip package. It does your Wi-Fi work, supporting 20 and 40 megahertz bandwidth in the 2.4 gigahertz band. It covers your Bluetooth needs as well with Bluetooth LE and Bluetooth Mesh. And check this, it offers an internal coexistence mechanism between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to allow them to share the same antenna. That saves space and weight and could definitely come in handy. Its peripherals include GPIO, SPI, UART, I2C, I2S, remote control peripheral, LED PWM controller, general DMA controller, TWAI controller, USB serial and JTAG controller, temperature sensor, SARA DC, general purpose timers, and watchdog timers. It also has an integrated 40 megahertz crystal oscillator, a USB-C connector, and one vertical quick connector. And like I said, that's an overview. If you really want to dig, uh, might I suggest the data sheet and a good cup of Turkish coffee. Mm -mm. Now, if you're anything like me, and I hate to break this to you, but if you're watching this, you're probably at least a little like me. And you probably spent a fair amount of time watching spy movies. And not necessarily for the action, which is usually pretty good. Not necessarily for the storylines. But probably to keep a keen eye on the technology. I mean, come on. James Bond's tech arsenal? A Kingsman? Inspector Gadget? The tech ideas are out there. And with technology moving as fast as it is, getting smaller and more powerful, well, it's high time we stopped watching and started making. So I figured I'd do a project something along those lines. Now let's suppose for a moment that instead of creative technologist, I were, in fact, an international man of intrigue, of mystery, of espionage. And let's suppose that I needed to acquire something, but it was in a safe, in a place with a lot of people around. Now, as I've previously demonstrated with Nathan and Joel, breaking into the safe, well, that's the easy part. But getting into a safe without being detected by people? Aye, there's the rub. We need some kind of early detection system that's gonna let us know when people are approaching. It's gotta be small, it's gotta be discreet, and it's gotta not draw attention to itself if it's sitting in a shelf or a table or pretty much anywhere. Now, if I were trying to sneak into someplace here at SparkFun, but it'd be easy, I could use, say, a small servo box. But I work at SparkFun. People expect me to be here. Nobody's going to expect me to be doing anything questionable. So let's suppose for a moment that the object I need to acquire is somewhere else. Maybe it's at a, I don't know, maybe a fancy cocktail party at the mansion of some millionaire supervillain. Ah, that's better. Now, in a situation like this, I could certainly, say, light up a cigarette. Of course, as long as it's a treasure or a luxury black cigarette. I could reach into my pocket and pull out a box of matches, light up, and just casually drop this box of matches on the table. No one would give it a second glance. In fact, that's what I'm hoping for because this particular box of matches contains a quick human presence sensor connected to my Pro Micro ESP32 C3 board powered by a diminutive 110 milliamp hour LiPo battery. There's even room for matches in there to complete the illusion that this is nothing more than an ordinary matchbox. Now, with this early warning system in place, I can surreptitiously slip into the room with the safe and get to work. Now, I want you to note, and please, all spies in movies and TV shows, take notice. I did not put a big red blinky LED on my super secret spy device. 
Are you really taking the time and effort to make sure that everybody can see the little secret device you've made? Seriously, knock it off. Now, I know that not everyone gets invited to swanky cocktail parties at the mansions of millionaire supervillains. That's okay, because this project can work anywhere. Maybe you're at a party and you just want a little quiet time in a silent room. Oh, this will fit in a very small gift box that nobody's gonna notice. Or perhaps you're at the office with the guys discussing the possibility of a workers union and you don't want the boss to hear you. Ordinary glue stick, this will fit inside. I checked. Or maybe I become persona non grata here at SparkFun, but there's something in the safe that I want. I mean, who's gonna notice one more DC motor sitting on a shelf? Nobody here, I'll tell you that. Now, once this gadget does detect a person coming towards the office, uh, it's gonna send a warning to the phone app that the spy has built the night before, and that's gonna go off letting me know that somebody's coming and I can quickly resume doing everyday work stuff. Blah, 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 I'm making videos. Blah, 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 blah. What's going on here? Nothing to see here, move along. Wait a minute. Thank you, sir. Another ESP32 board, another perfectly practical use case. You're welcome. Pick up your SparkFun Pro Micro ESP32 C3 over on our website. And as always, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. How's that water taste? Olivey. <laughs> I want you to call professional. It's all downhill from here. Aye, there's the rub. We need something. I'll just give you a quick rundown. <laughs> Nobody would expect me to be doing anything. Bah, 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 so close. And as always, stay shape. I can't do it. <laughs>